lecture we will show you how to create a Linux instance in AWS. Earlier we have shown you how to create the Windows instance and Linux instance creation and Windows instance creation both are the same process but the only difference is it how to access it. As Windows have their own access protocol that is remote desktop protocol. So through remote desktop protocol we can easily access the Windows instances. But in case of Linux, uh, either we have to use Bukti or we have to use uh, the Java console or uh, the browser has its own console. But we have seen that if you want to access it by um, giving your IP through the browser, then it becomes very slower. The best option is to access your inst Linux instance through Bukti. So let us see how to access uh, the Linux instances using the Putty. First, uh, launch your instance. So in that case, launch any one of the Linux instance. Suppose, suppose let us take Amazon Linux. Now let us take a very good uh, configuration instances uh, with the two virtual CPU and 8 GB of memory. And review and launch. Now with 8 GB of memory and electronic block storage and the low to moderate network performance, uh, this uh, initial instance configuration have been given to me. But uh, it is not like it is a preview. You can change uh, uh, if you want to uh, change the configuration. Now I want to change the security group. In the security group, by default, it is given SSH. TCP protocol will be if it is being used and port range is 22 and custom is given this one I will use anywhere and I have I will add another rule that is custom TCP protocol with the port range it should be 5432 this one is very important and also I will use anywhere anywhere means uh, any IP that will be provided to me otherwise what will happen if you give the customs or my IP the first instance it will work with the same IP but that IP may not be fixed for you that case when you stop the instance of the letter and you try to open it then Putty will not be able to uh, access it and you have to change your IP again that's the problem we face now review and launch now check again whether uh, whatever you have given uh, that is okay for you or not and uh, get the instance details Okay, this details is okay with me. Then check storage. Okay, the storage is given only 8 GB. So 8 GB system is uh, not preferable. Let us give it to 30 GB. Uh, okay, now we are ready to launch the system. Now there are two options. Either you can take your existing key pair. I have one existing key pair. Is there not one? I have more than one, uh, multiple number of key pairs are there. As I want to show you from the beginning or from the scratch, so better you take a new key pair and give it uh, the name Fragile Linux Instance 3 because already I have uh, created uh, uh, two Linux uh, key pair. So this is the third key pair so that I can identify it. And uh, remember that this key pair that is in the public key and another thing is that that is in PM format and unfortunately Putty does not recognize PM format so in Putty we have to convert this PM to PPK that is Putty's own format and also that public key to private key we will show you how to do it now launch instance so it will take some time to launch the instance by this time let us download putty so go to putty on site download putty click over here now you have multiple options to download it so this one is the main file of 64 bit if your machine is a 64 bit machine you can install it this one and another thing is that we have, as already I have told, that the key that has been given to me, that is in PM format, we have to convert it to PPK. 
so we need another uh, another uh, application that is called putty gen so putty gen will convert uh, the this one uh, putty gen so that putty gen will convert it to uh, pm file to ppk file okay so after downloading these two application these two application need not to be installed it will run on the go so first take putty gen and in putty gen go to conversion import the key and you have the key with you that is sajal linux 3.pm take this one and then save it to private key so this key that i have taken that is in public key and in .pm format now you have to convert it to .ppk format that is also in private key mode now in private key you will not find out the, and also another thing you have to remember that what the name i have given to the pm file the same name i have to use for the ppk file also so to uh, ensure that we are not making any mistake so take all files you will find out that file such as linux 3.pm take this file change the extension of this file to ppk now whatever um, public key to private key has been generated by Kurti that will be stored in ppk format. Now my key conversion is done. Now let us go to the instance. Now this is my instance. Now this instance is now running. Now go to connect. You will find out the address of the instance this is the address address means this is my ec2 instances and this is the ip address 54.196.2.248 and uh, i have taken compute one type of instances and where this instance is being created amazon aws.com so this is the entire path where my instances is now located and this one is my SSH uh, access extension and this is the user ID. So I will use it when this path uh, is accessible. So let us copy this one and put it in putty. So let us open putty. Now in putty there are several options are there. Go to the tab login and in post name put the address and make sure that port is 22 and the connection type is SSH and another thing also we have to check go in SSH go to authentication now in authentication you have to give that private key that you have created dot ppk file several private key I have out of this this one will open with such a Linux 3 Now it will ask for the login ID and we already know that the default login ID is EC2 space user. So let us give EC2 user. Now my Amazon Linux is now open. Now you can do whatever you want to do. Now let us exit from this one. In the similar manner you can create your instances in other Linux format. Let us create another instances. Suppose this time I want to create a SUSE Linux instances. The same manner I will create it. Same procedure will follow. Take the edit security group. In the security group I will take it anywhere. I will add another rule, port is 5432, anywhere, review and launch instances, ok, storage space is, uh, ok, in this case it is given 10 GB, let us take uh, the value as 30 GB. Review and launch launch instance now in this case let us take the existing uh, key pair that i have taken that is that is such a linux 3 
Now instance is now launching. Now in this case, I don't require the putty gen. Why? Because already so many instances I have. You can see. Now this time, this instance is being launched. And as already I have taken the existing key file that is certain Linux tree and that is also convert in a converted format in uh, .etk so I don't require putty gen, I only require putty. So take putty. Now it is running, try to connect it. Now in this case, look at here, my IP address is being changed. 3.80.250.218. Now take the address, give the hostname, SSH, authentication. Now let us check that okay in this case also the user ID is EC2 user. Now in this case the Linux is open. So if you use the proper procedure that case it will take only 2 to 3 minutes to launch an instance. Hope you have enjoyed it.